there's something in here you want to see okay ladies i gotta move down hey guys it's finally the weekend so that means we get to go out sourcing for inventory to flip on ebay for a profit normally just because of our schedule and the things that we have going on during the week we wait until the weekend to go sourcing and today once again we are going to a few goodwills near us in our last goodwill video we showed you how i make more money doing this than i did when i worked as a nurse i'm going to link that video up here for you guys so you can check it out but like i said in the last video we didn't find any super amazing things nothing to really like shout hallelujah about so i'm hoping that today is going to be a little different but either way we're going to let you guys come along and check it out and see what we find let's go you ready? There's two big sets of Lincoln Longs here, but they price this one at $13 and then this one at $18. So there's really not much left on the bone there. I'll just leave it behind. So it was old. My buddy. Ultra. Zero drops. Good thing. Torin 1.5. That's cool. Mini Mouse Disney World back scratcher. These are mess up. These are hokas, but look. Ugh. All right, guys, we ended up getting some really cool stuff in there. We got a couple of pairs of shoes, and I think the best ones were these Ultras. Anytime you see zero drop on a pair of shoes, you probably look it up because that's a sign it's a good quality pair. Casey scored this cute little Disney back scratcher for us. It should go for around 10 bucks, but we only paid a dollar, so. And then probably the best ROI item was the Power Beats charging case the little light already came on in the store so we know that it's working and this thing alone should go for around 40 bucks all right guys we're about to go into goodwill number two let's see what we can find in there let's do it these are Nike air coal horns $5.99 Venture 6. What are these? Ooh. Oh. Vans. $8.99. But that's going to be worth it. Huh. those Nikes whenever whenever you get there though these yeah and the there other you thank you I don't have a problem with that yeah. you want to see those yeah thank you mm -hmm. hey that's me anything else um the purple but don't let me hinder you though you're fine you want those too Those are brand new. These are net cards. Down. Uh, I saw one. We 
totally hit the mother load. A lot of these are Nike vet cards. Oh, I can't wait to look them up. We just hit a shoe restock. Those things can get pretty intense with people crowding around, but we snagged a box of everything that she brought out that was good. So we're gonna go over here and start looking some stuff up. I think we got some pretty good money. Look at this, this is Madewell. Madewell. Bay Classic. How much is it? Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. It looks brand new on the inside. pretty stinking epic me and haven are coming out to the car to take care of a, an explosion and casey's gonna pay for the stuff i've been doing this long enough to know that when they pull out a new shoe cart you better get in there while you can because people are about to start swarming it and that is exactly what happened but i kind of just respectfully held my ground and we ended up getting i think all of the really good shoes but I tried to be respectful. I know that they don't really like people crowding around them that much, so I kind of backed off a little bit. Going in with the choo-choo train. The shoo-shoo train. The shoo-shoo train. <laughs> all right, he's got them all loaded up in our big old air fryer here. Ooh. Yes. We got some almost brand new vans, and there were tons of these Metcons. There were just tons of these. Out of all those shoes that we grabbed, we only put back like four pairs. I'm not exactly sure how many pairs we actually picked up. And from what I could see, there was no like huge home run, $200 pairs of shoes. But a lot of these were going for around $40 to $50. So I'll take that all day long. Pick them up for a good price, sell them for a good price. Not much effort. It's the way we roll. So apparently today is just a shoe day. I got a whole nother bag of shoes. So a lot of the Goodwills in our area are starting to do this new system where if it doesn't have a price on it, the manager has to come up. And in the past, normally the employee would just ring it up as the normal shoe price or something like that. But apparently they're really hankering down hard on the employees to make sure that they are pricing stuff correctly. So I had to stand up there for like 20 minutes while the manager took her time to come up here. And then she priced those Uggs at $20. So I just passed on those, obviously. But we still got some decent shoes. Still pretty happy with it. So let's go to number four, I think. I think it's four. All right, guys, this is the last stop of the day. Princess Pooch is getting kind of tired and the Goodwills in our areas are fixing to start closing. So maybe the shoe train will keep going. We'll see. Let's get it. Shoe train. The shoe shoe train officially ended in that store, but we did pick up a few things. We got that for ourselves. We just had to get it for the eBay room. All right, guys, we ended. Up... All right, guys, we ended up getting a pretty good haul of stuff from Goodwill today. We're pretty happy with it. We'll put up the total of what we think that we can sell all this stuff for. But I still think it was a really productive day. We ended up getting some pretty decent stuff. A lot better than our last Goodwill trip. But if you haven't seen that video yet, we'll go ahead and put it over here so that you can watch that video. There's still some really cool bolos, even though we didn't score as big as this time. We had a lot of fun. Glad you could come along. And until next time, stay peachy.